Hi and welcome to this DCP Web HTML5 and CSS3 Beginners Tutorial Part 1. So in the first part of this tutorial, we need to get some software installed on our computer. It's freely available and we really need a web browser and a text editor. So we're going to go over to the web browser and the first thing we want to type into Google is Chrome because we want to download Google Chrome and we're going to click here on this Google Chrome and click the download button and we want to download this whether you're using Linux, Mac or uh, Windows computer. So we'll click the download button and you can optionally give them statistics and crash reports, that's up to you. And we'll click accept and install and then we'll get this little exe file down here and we're going to click on that to launch it and we're going to click and start downloading Google Chrome. This shouldn't take too long. So that's Google Chrome installed. So follow those basic instructions whether you're using Windows or Mac to get Google Chrome installed on your computer because that's going to be the default web browser we're going to use. Now, once you've done that, if you're on Windows, you want to go to Google and type in Notepad. Let's type that in correctly. Notepad++. So this is a text editor. So you've got other text editors just like your default um, basic Windows text editor something like this notepad on windows but we want something a bit more advanced to give us a bit more visual control over our content so we're going to install notepad plus plus so we'll click here and you don't need to install this if you're on a mac i'm going to show you another piece of software so we'll click this download button here and we'll click the download green button here and we'll download notepad plus plus and we'll click that to get that installed we just so you can select your relevant language. I'm going to stick with English here. Click next. And we won't run it at the moment, but then we've got Notepad++ installed as well. Now, if you're on Linux or Apple Mac, you want to go to Google and type in brackets.io, and then you want to click here. And you'll get an option to download brackets for your different operating system. Right now, it's showing me Windows version, but if you're on a Mac, it will show you a Mac version or a Linux version. And this is the text editor. You can see uh, like a screen capture here. It will allow us to write our code and actually look at the code quite carefully um, and color code it and so forth. So download this piece of software and that will be what you'll need to do the text editing. So on my computer at the moment, I will have Google Chrome and I should also have Notepad++ here. So let me just drag that to the desktop. So I've got these two pieces of software. If I open up Notepad++, it's going to come up with this default thank you page for installing. We can just close that so we've got an empty page on this side. And then when I open up Google Chrome, we'll have our um, Chrome browser here where we're going to write code into this side and then display it on this side to see how it looks. And if you're using Windows, you can easily grow and shrink uh, the height of those, these windows just by dragging in between. So that's all the software installed. On the next tutorial, we'll start to write some basic code to get a really basic website up and running, just as an example. And then we'll go and continue and write more advanced code to build more advanced uh, website application. Okay, join me in the next tutorial where we'll start to write some basic code to get our first web page up and running.